Let's check in on Salem real quick. They're doing a bunch of lawmakery stuff down there. There's always a bunch of, you know, committee hearings every day. They stream them live on the legislature's website. I'm sure you're always tuning in. I would admit it's not exactly must see TV, but don't get me wrong. A lot of important issues are discussed and voted on, but I can't imagine I can't imagine they get too many viewers. Now we're doing okay in that department here on the story. So here's some advice, unsolicited advice, isn't it the best? But maybe try and get like a celebrity to come on and focus on a very important and serious issue. Maybe, maybe something with kids. For the record, my name is Paris Hilton. I'm an institutional abuse survivor. And I speak today on behalf of the hundreds of thousands of survivors and children currently in residential care facilities across the United States who are kidnapped from their homes and transported into facilities through the use of the youth transport system. Were you expecting that? You weren't expecting that. Neither was I. I wasn't expecting to see Paris Hilton to show up at the Oregon committee hearing today and for her to be talking about that. I know there are a lot of people out there that kind of roll their eyes at her. You know, they, they say they see somebody who is famous for literally, literally being famous, but don't write her off. Okay, don't write her off just yet because she has started to do something pretty amazing. She's become an advocate for institutional abuse survivors since sharing her own story in a documentary last year. When I was 16, I was suddenly woken in the middle of the night by two transporters who stood over my bed and asked me if I wanted to go the easy way or the hard way. I thought I was being kidnapped and was going to be murdered. They called me by, by my name as they pulled out handcuffs. They strapped them to my wrists and carried me out of my bed while I was screaming at the top of my lungs for help. They knew who I was and they were on a schedule. My parents stood by and watched this happen because they were told that this was the only way to do it. Strong reg regulation to hold these facilities and youth transport companies accountable is the first step to ensuring that no more children are traumatized in the name of treatment. What a thing to happen to somebody. I couldn't believe that today. I know a lot of people probably know that story already, but I know there are a lot of people who, who didn't. So here's what she is testifying uh, to support. Senate Bill 710, it would regulate both the transport and the use of restraints on children for institutional facilities, foster care homes, and child care agencies. It adds licensing requirements to the companies that come and take these kids to these different places, and it bans a lot of the different types of restraints that are being used right now on children, on kids. Now, I know this is not the, the kind of thing that pe people typically walk through their day and think about, but man, it, it sure seems like something we should, right? Seems important to me. Thank you, Paris. This bill just had its first hearing, so we're gonna keep you posted on where it goes from here.